Manny Pacquiao, who is considered to be one of the greatest fighters of his time, if not the greatest, allowed us to come out to Wild Card Boxing Club where he's training for his bout against Juan Manuel Marquez. Would you say he's the greatest pound for pound fighter in the world right now? 100% he's the greatest pound for pound he's, and he's probably the greatest fighter of his era actually also. And uh, you know when people say who's the next Manny Pacquiao out there or this guy's the next Manny Pacquiao, it's too much to ask for. I mean it's just, uh, they're setting the bar way too high. There's a once in a lifetime deal and uh, Manny Pacquiao is it. Freddie was telling us you know about how powerful your punches can be. He said one time you nailed him so hard that he had vertigo for a week. Do you remember that? <laughs> in order to help Manny practice, various professional boxers come to his gym to spar with him. He offers each and every one of them $1,000 to try to knock him down. They've each tried, and they've each failed. What's it like to spar with him? Oh man, this guy is strong and he's fast. So he's the best of the best. <laughs> he's really, really hard. He made a couple of shots like... It's intense, man. It's so hard. Hard to explain in words, you know what I mean? You gotta be there to... What are his strengths as a fighter? I think everything. His speed, his power, his talent, he's got better talent too. I really don't see like, really like something I really can't complain about him, like, you know? It's... Manny, I know Bob Arum um, was a bit concerned that you could perhaps be overtraining. Is that a valid concern or is that not something that is possible for you? That's my job. I have to to train hard and get in shape. So in the fight, it's not uh, you know. I have um, stamina to to fight to the toe. You have a little bit of a resemblance to Marquez. Has anybody ever told you that you look a little bit like him? Yeah, but like before. Yeah, one time I was in a restaurant and people were looking at me, thinking I was Marquez. What's going to be your strategy against Marquez? We have a different strategy, but we won't tell that to the, um, the Republic or to anybody. So it's great practice in multiple ways. It helps him really helps him visualize his opponent, huh? Yeah, I just need, I just need a, what I need now is my bell to be like Marquez. <laughs> we always champion, you know what I mean? What goes through your mind before you take, before you enter the ring? Excited before I get into the ring. I'm excited to the fight and, you know, I think... Uh, this, that's the moment that I'm waiting for. He's a really smart fighter, huh? Yeah, he, he goes, he sets you up on the top and then he goes down low and then he comes back up. It's just punches from everywhere. <laughs> you don't even know where they're coming from. So far in your amazing boxing career, what's been the standout moment for you? All the achievements that, that, I, that uh, I have right now. And of course, after the fight, I feel like uh, happy. When he impressed me the most, he he told me one day, he says, you know what, it's your job to get me ready to fight, it's my job to win the fight. You know, And I love that he understands that, because a lot of people in boxing, you, you know, will blame the trainer if, if there's a loss or so forth. Manny would blame, only blame himself. Is that type of stand-up attitude unusual among fighters? Yes. I'm Melissa Rowland, reporting for the Los Angeles Times.